Today we're going to show you the bottle attack. The first part of the experiment is simply to screw the caps on top of each of the bottles. Then take one of the bottles and put it into the freezer. You'll need to leave it there for about 10 minutes. When you take the bottle back out of the freezer, you'll see that it's changed shape and started to collapse. This is because while it was inside the freezer, the air trapped inside the bottle changed temperature. And when it changed temperature, the pressure inside also changed, which meant that the air pressure outside the bottle was greater than the air pressure inside, forcing it to squeeze itself. A non-popping balloon. All you need to do is stretch out the balloon a little bit and then blow it up just as you would normally. Once you've blown it up, very carefully tie one end off, then take a small piece of tape and fix it to one side of the balloon. Then turn the balloon around and stick a piece of tape onto the opposite side. Then take your skewer and very carefully, very slowly, push the skewer through the balloon. You might want to try twisting it slightly just as you do this. You'll see that the skewer goes all the way through the balloon without the balloon popping. This is because the surface of the balloon is made of rubber, which tends to cling very tightly. There's already surface tension in the balloon because you've blown it up. And so when you push the skewer through the side, the rubber clings and sticks to the outside of the skewer, meaning air is not able to escape. And there you have it. That's how you make a non-popping balloon.